and this is intermediate Pilates. If you are looking for beginning Pilates, head over to Mark's video, it's great. Or if you're looking for a longer workout, start with his and then flow right into this, because we're gonna go for it. Uh, one tip I have for you that has been life-giving for me during this spring season is taking my Pilates mat outside and doing my Pilates work there. So drag your mat outside and join me and we're gonna get going. All right, let's start with a deep breath, inhaling. Arms come up, exhaling. Again, inhaling, become present to your breath. Exhaling, inhaling, present to your body. Exhaling, a couple shoulder rolls, relaxing, settling. Okay, uh, we're gonna start finding our standing alignment. I'm gonna turn this way. We're gonna draw our weight back in our heels. We're gonna look for a neutral pelvis. You can do some standing pelvic tilts. Hip bone, hip bone, pubic bone, parallel to the wall in front of you. Then we're gonna bring our ribs down, anchoring the ribs together. So hip bowl and rib bowl are lined up. Draw the shoulder blades down into the back. You can put your finger on your chin, gently draw it back. Now you're strong and supported. Okay, let's isolate the core to wake it up. Inhale, expand your belly. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. One more, inhale and expanding. Exhale, knitting the ribs. And then we're gonna start with 10 transverse pulses, simply pulling navel to spine. Kiss your spine 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, knit the ribs. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We're gonna move to transverse holds. Same idea, draw the navel in towards the spine. Think of it like a fish hook. It's pulling up and in. Hold for a three count. Ready? Pull up and in. Hold three, two, one. And again, pull up and in. Hold three, two, one. You can relax the shoulders if they're trying to help. Pull up and in. Three, two, one. Last two. Engage deeply. Three, two, one. Don't hold your breath. Breathe with me and hold three, two, one. Now, if you're feeling your core, we're going to jump into the work. If not, pause and do a couple more sets of those. Let's make our way to the back of our mat. We're going to take a deep inhale up. Exhale, like a standing spine stretch forward. Reach out before you go over. Feel the opening through your back and come forward. Inhale, lengthen the crown of your head towards the floor and exhaling. Let's walk one hand out at a time, coming into your downward dog, pressing into your toes, pressing into your palms, and then let's make our way down onto our knees. All right, we're gonna move into a mermaid. We're gonna lengthen the arm up, anchor the shoulder into the back, and bring the arm parallel to the floor, reach towards the wall. Reach into the other side. You can lengthen up to your level and reach. Let's do one more each side. And exhale, reach along. Good. Press up and let's add some side bends here. Lift and lower, six, five, four, Three, great job. Two, one, good. Come through center. Slide your hands behind the backs of your legs. Some rollbacks. Round the spine. Sit tall. Lengthen the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Reach up. You can release your arms. A little more core work. Good. One more. Great job. Slide your heels to the other side. Lengthen the opposite arm. Anchor the shoulder into the back and reach towards the wall. Lift up, pressing up, opening your side. Good, and again. Keep reaching, you can add a second breath. Good, and then set up for a side plank or side bend. Six, five, four, three, whoops, two, and last one. Perfect, we're gonna center ourselves on our mat, rolling our spine back. Drawing our legs to tabletop, knees over hips, ankles in line with knees. I encourage my students to place their hands on their core to help you engage deeper. Inhale, open the legs. Exhale, squeeze to close. Your legs are like magnets. Squeeze and close for six. Good, you're halfway there. Last three and two and one. Great job. Keep the legs squeezed together. Inhale, lower, scoop to lift for six. Five if you need more load. Bring your legs further away from your glutes. Last two, less load, closer to glutes. And one, good, knee sways. We're waking up our obliques here. Sway the knees to the right, scoop to energize to center. Left, 
and scoop. Right and scoop. Left. Scoop. Good. Last set. Scoop. Good job. Place your palms on the floor. Take a moment to anchor the shoulder blades under your back. <clears throat> legs come up to vertical. We're moving into double leg circles. Inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, engage the core to come back to your starting point. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Your exhale is your best friend in Pilates. It helps you deeply engage your core and activate it. Six in the other direction. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Great job. Last two. And last one. Beautiful. Squeeze the legs together. They're magnets. Now don't let them shift. We're going to move into pendulum. Legs sway wet, right. Exhale back to center. Legs come to the left. Exhale center. Again, we inhale and we exhale. One more time. Shoulder blades are anchored, not lifting off the mat. Good. Last one. Beautiful. And let's kick it into corkscrew. Squeeze those legs together. Circle right to left. Exhale to stop. Left to right. Exhale to stop again. The bigger you go, the more your obliques and low belly are working. Last set. Beautiful. Good. Lower the legs down. We're going to transition onto our stomachs, rolling over for some extension. Extend both arms and both legs. We're going to move into swimming. Forehead can rest on the mat or gently be lifted, keeping head in line with spine. Okay, first, just between your core and your mat, you're going to find that lifted feeling. That's the first step here. Scoop here. Lift right arm, left leg, lift, lengthen, lower. Left arm, right leg, lift, lengthen, lower. Again, you can stay here or lift everything up, hold. And now let's begin to swim. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, four, five. Let's go bigger. Next one, inhale, two, four, five, and exhale. Last one, it's your biggest. And exhale. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Find that belly scoop to press yourself back into a child's pose. One more breath here. And we're going to come back onto our backs for some abdominal series. <clears throat> Centering yourself on your mat. All right, so your head can be curled forward for the next four exercises if your tummy does not bulge, okay? I will have my head down as my core is still healing. So let's pull, activate the core. Navel engages the spine like we warmed up with. Single leg stretch, ready, go. Pulse right, one, two. Left, one, two. Inhale, right. Now you can just extend your leg out in space or begin to add a scissor movement. Draw the leg down. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Good, reach, reach, lengthen, lengthen. Last set. Great job. We're gonna move right into scissors. Legs come to vertical, hands come behind calf. Two pulses to the right, two pulses to the left. Elbows are out, arms are working. Inhale. And exhale, only go as low as your core can support. Inhale, exhale, last two. Great job. All right, we're gonna move to double leg stretch. Hands on knees, squeeze the legs. We're gonna come out into a V position. Exhale, pull it in tight. Start small, progress to a bigger V. More load for your core. Check in that you're not working from the back. If so, your V gets smaller. Last two, shoulders down, last one. Great job, in to double leg lower lift. Hands behind head or on your stomach, activate. Begin, inhale lower, scoop, and that lifts the legs. Inhale lower, don't bulge, opposite of bulging. Four more. Great job, getting your heart rate up, feeling your core working. Last one. Great job. Beautiful. All right. Well-deserved stretch. Let's move into a happy baby stretch. Hold the pads of the feet. Let's rock side to side. There's so much happening here. Open your hips by gently drawing down. Press your elbows in. Feel the low back massage. If it's an option, extend one leg 
or the other leg and feel the hamstring stretch. One more breath here. Draw the legs together. Plant your feet underneath your knees to move into some bridging. Press the palms into the floor. Shoulder blades into the back. Knees hip width apart. All right, let's peel up one vertebrae at a time. Low spine, middle spine, upper spine. We're not gonna hyperextend. Our bowls are still on one plane. Wind up, okay? Press into your right foot. Activate your right glute as you extend your left leg and hold for a six count. Neutral pelvis, five. Four, three, two, one. Leg comes to vertical, flex to lower point to lift for six, five, four. Keep pressing, keep staying lifted. Last two, last one. Stay lifted till the very end, bend plan. Now firm the left foot, firm the left glute. Unweight the right leg, not really missing it. All right, let's hold, six count. Five, four, three, two, one, lift the leg up, stay steady on the left side. Focus more on the left side than on the right leg moving. Last three, last two, and last one. Press up, bend, plant. Great job, float your arms behind your head. Press up to your toes, take your time, and enjoy giving a moment to each vertebrae in your back as you lower all the way down. Extend your legs up. It's a roll up to come to seated, or you can roll to your side, press up, come to the front of your mat. For one of my favorites, open leg rocker. Now this is the one rolling where we get to play around with a stacked spine and a rounded spine, okay? Focus on the spine before you choose the level of your legs. All right, relax the shoulders. Navel is pressing in towards the spine. Get that sternum lifted, the spine is stacked. Now choose your leg level, okay? Whatever your level is. Soften your grip. Now create the C curve. Inhale takes you back. Exhale draws you forward. Balance, lift, open. <clears throat> Inhale back. See how I'm keeping my chin tucked, not bringing any weight onto my neck. And then try a couple of legs glued together. Okay, so pause at the top, find the stacked spine, then create the C curve. Last one. Stack. Good, play around with it, hold, round. All right, come forward, let's balance and let's move into our teaser. You can extend your arms out if you need, lower your legs here, your choice, and let's open to the right, back to center, open to the left, back to center. Deep core work here as we lift and lower the legs for three, two, one, good job. Let's roll the shoulders open. Good, choose your leg level again. Open to the right, draw a circle. Reverse the circle. Center, circle, and circle, and pulse. Pulse, don't bulge, opposite of bulging. Great job, last set. Relax the shoulders, stay lifted. We're gonna rotate to the right, we're gonna hold, we're gonna transverse pulse. Pull in one, two, three. Great job, this is our last one. One, two, three, and then lift and lower. Three, two, one, good, let's come into a diamond leg stretch. Just fold forward, take a deep breath. Beautiful, and let's scoot to the back of our mats for a Z stretch. I wanna give you something to practice for when we come back together. All right, so we're gonna windshield wipe our way towards the front of our mat, side to side. Have fun with this. It's a traveling windshield wiper. Okay, then when we come to the front of our mats, we're gonna do a little stretch here. So let's first start, nice hip opener, come forward. Take one to two breaths here. Travel over to the other side of your leg, one to two breaths. And then travel to the other side of your leg. Okay, this is Feel a nice hip opening here. And then we're gonna balance, okay? First start by activating the core, disengages, and then place your hands, one on the inside of your legs, one on the outside. Let's stay stable, rooted, as we lift one leg and hold. Three, two, one, lower down. Stay rooted, not a big lean, as we lift and hold. Three, two, one, our backward leg. All right, now let's do both legs, okay? Start with your hands here, tummy tight, lift and hold. Three, 
two, one. And then if it's an option, try adding the arms. Hold, 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 great job. All right, relax the shoulders. We're gonna pivot to the other side. And let's do our hip opening stretch. Let's start in the center. One to two breaths here. Travel over to the other side. Feel the side stretch, the back stretch. Last side, deep breath. And then come forward. Let's start with the rooted core. Lift the top, the front leg. Lift and hold. Three, two, one. Lower down. Lift and hold back leg. Three, two, one. You got this. Come to center. Strong core, lift and hold both. Three, two, one. Sweet, play around, hold, hold. Lots of core working here. Great job, lower the arms down. Roll the shoulders open, let's come onto all fours. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. Couple cats and cows, enjoying the natural flexion and extension that our spine has. We wanna keep that full range of motion happening. But be gracious with yourself if you've been a little less active and just do what your body will allow today. Let's press up, walk our hands towards our toes, take a deep breath, inhaling again, crown of the head reaches towards the floor, tailbone lifts, feel that length in the hamstring, and then slowly stack up, low spine, middle, upper, and so let's come to the front of our mat. We're gonna do a little balance work, make your way to a wall if you need that. We're gonna start with a neutral pelvis, activate the core, unweight one leg, by it's still keeping your pelvis neutral, let's add an isometric stretch. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then let's come straight back. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's do some kickbacks. Feel the low spine lengthen. Four, three. Good job, you guys. Two active runs. One. Good. Let's move into a goal post stretch. Unweight the left leg. And straight back. Five, four, three, two. One, good job, kick back, feel the spine lengthen. Four, three, two, and one, good. Let's move into our YWTL stretch. So feet are underneath knees, check that real quick. Pull the shoulder blades down, you're making a Y, and we're feeling that nice opening through the chest. Deep breath, sink into your W. Great job, out into a T. Shoulder blades are pulling in and then down into an L. Good. Let's take one more inhale. I want you to inhale peace. Exhale anxiety. One more deep inhaling hope. Exhaling fear. And if there's anything I missed that your body's craving, this is the time to do it. Jump into that right now. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.